Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from number sequence. Now this question has two sub questions and each sub question again is divided into two sub questions. So let us start with the first one. The table shows first five terms of sequence A and sequence B. Complete the table for the sixth term of each sequence. We can see that there are two sequences given. And here first five terms of the sequence is given. We need to find out the sixth term of each sequence. Now let me consider the sequence A. Now the first five terms of the sequence A are 7, 13, 23, 37 and 55. So let us try to find the common difference between each term first. That is second term minus the first term. That is 13 minus 7 gives us 6. 23 minus 13 gives us a value of 10. 37 minus 23 gives us a value of 14 and 55 minus 37 gives us a value of 18. So we can see that the common difference is increasing by 4 each time. So here the difference between the 6th term and the 5th term has to be 22. So here we have to simply add this 22 with 55 to get the 6th term. So 55 plus 22 gives us 77. So let us check 77 minus 55 gives us 22 back again. So the sixth term of sequence A is 77. Now let us concentrate on sequence B. So the sequence B is 1, 3, 9, 27 and 81. So we need to find out the sixth term. Now if we look at the sequence, each term represents a power of 3. That is 1 could be written as 3 to the power of 0. 3 can be written as 3 to the power of 1. 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2, 27 is 3 to the power of 3, 81 is 3 to the power of 4. So the next and last term becomes 3 to the power of 5 which is 243. So this is the sixth term of the sequence B. So let us write here, it is 243. Now let us look at the next question. Find the nth term of sequence A and sequence B. It is the same sequence A and sequence B which they had given in the previous question. Now we have to find out a formula for the nth term. So it could be 100th term, 1000th term and so on. So we have to generalize by writing a formula here. So let me again start with sequence A first. So here I have also written the sixth term which we just calculated. So here again let us start by finding out the common difference. That is second term minus first term. That is 13 minus 7 is 6. 23 minus 13 is 10, 37 minus 23 is 14 and 55 minus 37 is 18 and 77 minus 55 we got it as 22. Now we have to keep on finding the common difference till we get the same common difference for all the sequences. Now here we can see the common difference is different. So again we will start by subtracting the second term minus first term. So 10 minus 6 is 4 and 14 minus 10 we get again as 4 and 18 minus 14 we get again as 4 and 22 minus 18 is 4. Now as we can see we got the same common difference that is after the first difference and the second difference. Since we got the same common difference after two steps this is a quadratic sequence. So the general form of quadratic sequence is a n square plus b n plus c. Now we have to find out what is the value of a, b and c. Now from the sequence what we have got, the last difference we are going to equate it to 2a. That is 2a is equal to first term of this common difference. Next we are going to take the expression 3a plus b and equate it equal to the first term of this second common difference and then finally we are going to take a plus b plus c and equate it equal to the first term of the sequence. Now let me know if you want me to make a video explaining why we need to take these expressions for the quadratic sequence. So now let us start solving this that is taking 2a is equal to 4 and always start by taking the last common difference that is 2a is equal to 4. Then we proceed by taking 3a plus b and finally a plus b plus c. So 2a is taken equal to 4. So a will be equal to 4 over 2 or 4 over 2 is nothing but 2. So we get the value of a as 2. The first value is cut. 
Next, let us concentrate on 3a plus b. So, let me write here. 3a plus b is equal to the first term of the sequence is 6. Now, a value we have already got as 2. So, 3 times 2 plus b equal to 6. So, we have 6 plus b equal to 6 or b is equal to 6. Taking 6 on the other side, we get 6 minus 6 equal to 0. So, the value of b we have got now is 0. Now, finally, we will concentrate on a plus b plus c equal to 7. So, let me write here a plus b plus c equal to 7. a we got it as 2, b we got it as 0 plus c equal to 7. So, c is equal to 7. Taking 2 on the other side, we get minus 2 equal to 5. Now, here we got the value of a, b and c. We are going to substitute those values in this quadratic sequence expression. So, let me write here a n square plus b n plus c. So, substituting the value of a, a is 2 n square. Since b is 0, it is 0 times n. So, this term goes down to 0 plus c. c we got it as 5. So, the nth term of the sequence a is 2n square plus 5. So, let me write here sequence a is 2n square plus 5. Now, let us concentrate on sequence b. Now, here we had already solved in the part a of this question that 3 to the power of 0 is 1, 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 to the power of 2 is 9 and so on. So, this is the first term of the sequence, second term, third term, fourth term and so on. So, if we look at the power of 3, it is 1 less than the term number. So, here if it is 1, we have 0. If it is 2, we have 1. If it is 3, we have 2. That means the nth term is going to be 3 to the power of n minus 1. So, this is your n term and the power of 3 is nothing but 1 less than the term number. So, the n term is 3n minus 1. Let me write here, it is going to be 3n minus 1. Now, let us move on to the next question. The nth term of another sequence is 4n square plus n plus 3. Find the second term. So, here the expression is already given, the rule is given and they want us to find out what is the value of this expression when n is equal to 2. So, simply we have to plug in the value of n is equal to 2 in this expression. So, let me write here. So, 4 times 2 square plus 2 plus 3. This is 4 times 2 square is 16 plus 2 plus 3. So, this will give us a value of 21. So, this is the value of the second term of this given expression. Now, let us move on to the last question. That is, find the value of n when nth term is 498. That means, we have to equate this given expression. To 498 and find out the value of n. So, let me write here. So, 4n square plus n plus 3 is equal to 498. Now, let me take 498 on one side of the equal to sign. So, we get. So, 4n square plus n plus 3 and plus 498 becomes minus 498. Now, simplifying this we add the plus 3 and minus 498 and we get it as minus 495. Now, the next step is to factorize and get the value of n here. So, I am going to use the quadratic formula to factorize it. So, let me write the formula. So, the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now, here we are going to get the value of abc by looking at it. So, a is the coefficient of n square, so a is 4, b is the coefficient of n, so the number along with n is 1 and c is going to be the constant, in this case it is going to be minus 495. So, let me substitute the values of a, b, c in this given quadratic formula. So, minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 4 times minus 495 over 2 times 4. Now, let me solve the square root first. So, here we get the square root value as 89. So, let me substitute here. So, here we have minus 1 plus minus 
89 divided by 2 times 4 is 8. So this could be split up as two values now that is minus 1 plus 89 over 8. So here we get it as 88 over 8 which is nothing but 11. So the first value of n is 11 and the second is minus 1 and minus 89 gives us minus 90 over 8 and this will give us a decimal value which is minus 11.25. Now remember that the value of n has to be an integer, it cannot be a decimal. So we have to discard the value minus 11.25 and consider the value of n as only 11. So n is going to be 11 for this given expression. Which means when n is equal to 11, we have the nth term as 498. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.